today we are going to perform an experiment on the series connection of batteries okay already let's try to see the series connection is already completed in the previous session we are going to do the parallelization okay so what is the importance of parallel so already we have a battery 12 volts battery and we are having one more 12 volts battery one more 12 so why you connected uh, four batteries in parallel so if you want a better backup then we require the support of for example uh, you have these two batteries only i added this battery this will increase its ah capacity or it will increase its current capacity that's why we are connecting them in parallel now coming to the battery configuration so this group of batteries are called as an array group of batteries is called as an array so these sort of things will be there in your uh, actually in uh, railway system or you have this in your uh, mobile towers in mobile tower they want only quality there should not be any uh, lag okay that's why they will connect uh, double backup so if two batteries are required, they will use uh, two batteries extra again to support it for longer life. Unfortunately, if any power is not available for 12 hours, they want for more backup, then they will use some extra batteries in such a way that uh, tower will not be deconstructed for minimum uh, 48 hours. In such a way, they will design that structure. Therefore, they use uh, double the backup. Okay. Now coming to this uh, battery. So each battery is of rated how much? So this is uh, battery 1, this is battery 2, this is battery 3. This is battery 4. Each battery is of rated of how much? 12 volts. So here it is offering 12 volts, 0 volts. And here it is offering 12 volts, 0 volts. This is offering 12 volts, 0 volts, 12 volts, 0 volts. So how to connect them in parallel? How to connect them in parallel? Join all the positives. Join all the negatives. So you see here, all the positives are joined and brought to this uh, array point. And next, all the negatives are joined. Okay. Already we calculated in our analysis. What is the rating of each battery? 40 AH. Okay. 40 AH divided by and how much hours it takes to time charge? You are using a slow charger. It is taking uh, around 10 hours to charge. Then how much amount of current will be supplied by them? 4 amperes current. Each battery can supply how many amperes of current? 4 amperes. So this is supplying 4 amperes. And this is also supplying 4. So, what is the resultant current in this branch? 4 plus 4, 8. So, this is supplying how much? 4. 8 plus 4 is how much? 12. So, 12 and this is also supplying 4. Therefore, 12 plus 4 is how much? 16. So, the resultant current they are supplying is how much? 16 amperes current. Okay. So, 16 amperes current multiplied with what the time taken for charge or discharge? 10. So, therefore, it is going to constitute an capacity of 160 AH. Previously, we done the series. In series, we connected four batteries in series connection. But the resultant AH is how much? Only 40 AH. But here, we connected them in parallel. Now, it is going to construct 40 AH into 4. How much? 160 AH. This is having a good protection. So, it can deliver 160 AH and it can deliver how many amperes of current? 16 amperes current. Okay. Or it can supply 16 amperes current for a time of 10 hours. Okay, you can see here it is supplying 4 times extra backup it can give. How many times extra backup? 4 times extra backup it can give. This is a very, very important system eh? when you design a um, cell phone tower or when you do go this uh, traction in your railway. Railway also doesn't have one battery. They have a parallel battery again for better backup and better reliability. Okay, now you we are doing this uh, test. Eh? And we are saying that these are healthy. Now, we are using a meter which is called as a battery tester. So, this meter is called a battery tester or battery meter. This will say the health of the battery, whether this battery is good or the battery is damaged. Okay. So, generally, if you take this battery to an uh, outside market, uh, they will say that uh, this battery is gone. You try to purchase a new battery, but it will have some life cycles. Already, we discussed it. Uh, different parameters of a battery. So, how to check the health of a battery? We will check it now. Okay. So, now you see here, we are going to check the health of this battery. What is this terminal? Positive terminal. This is negative terminal. So, you have to connect like this. You have to connect like this. And what is the voltage it is indicating? 12.5. Now, what is the system voltage? 12.5 only. Why? Because they are connected in parallel. And now, we are going to load it. So, when you are going to load it, uh, you see here, I am not loading for maximum time, lesser time. It is written, while taking the readings back of the 
meter. So connect to the battery, load the meter for less than three seconds. You should not load it for how much here? For one minute. So only how much second? One, two, three seconds, that's all. You should not load it. That's what the way of operating. So now when you load it, it is showing which color? Green color. If it's showing green color means this battery is healthy. Now let's try to shift to the next battery. Now again, you see here, this is showing the state of charges, 12.5. I am performing the load test and how much time you have to hold it? Uh, 3 seconds. And again, it is showing how much? Uh, green. And this battery is also healthy. So, there is no need to take for any technician. By using this meter, we can say what is the original capacity of this battery. Okay. And next. You see here, what is the voltage it is indicating? 12 volts is nothing but uh, open circuit voltage is good and I am trying to load it. So when I load it also, it is showing which color? Green color. This battery is also healthy. So now again, we are checking the open circuit voltage, 12.5, and we are loading it again, and it is showing how much? Again, green color, I can say that these four batteries are fully charged, and in which condition? Good, healthy condition, okay? That's why we are going to connect them in parallel again. Now coming to the experimentation part. Now what is the total AH of this uh, battery bag? 160 AH. Okay. So it is supplying how many amperes of current? 160 AH. So this 160 AH I can analyze uh, in two parts. Okay. So it is supplying 10 hours of backup with a current of how much? 16 amperes. Okay. So this is how or it can supply 40 amperes current with a current of uh, 4 amperes also. So it can supply 4 amperes for a time of how many hours? 40 hours also. So 4 into 4 is how much? Again 160 AH. Okay. So now see this connection diagram. So from the positive I had brought to the positive. From the negative array I had brought to the negative. I used the junction points or the connectors to connect the positive and negative. And we are connected to the positive terminal of the fuse and negative terminal of the fuse. So what is the total current now? What is the total current? 16 amperes okay so but we had used a basic protection fuse why because uh, we are not loading it to more than 5 amperes that's why we used only a 5 ampere fuse okay so this is only an a 5 ampere fuse it weighs it is supplying 16 amperes but we are not loading more than 5 amperes actually if you want to change it uh, we can rewire it what is the maximum capacity it can withstand 16 amperes so like this one wire one wire two wire three three wires you have to connect in parallel okay automatically if three resistors are connected in parallel what will happen so it can withstand a current of how much 16 amperes i mean 15 amperes it can withstand but we are not loading more than 5 amperes i connected only a single 5 ampere fuse okay and next i connected to a maximum capacity of 16 i mean 16 amperes mcb and i got the resultant positive and resultant negative so now how to give the connection diagram so see you are Connection diagram. So you have the batteries and you are connecting the voltmeter in parallel. So voltmeter in parallel, similar to that of the connection, your ammeter and rheostat should be connected in which connection? Series connection. Okay. So the positive terminal of the battery will go to the positive terminal of the ammeter. It, and the output, I mean the current is leaving, the output terminal of the ammeter will go to the input of the rheostat, the output terminal of the rheostat will be connected to the neutral. I can say this ammeter and rheostat are connected in series connection. Let's try to verify it here. So you see here, this voltmeter we are directly connected in parallel. Okay. So this is positive and negative, we are directly connected in parallel. Okay. So now from this ammeter, from this array, we are connecting to one terminal, one end of the positive terminal of the battery and negative terminal of the battery we are connected to the bottom okay you see here the negative terminal we connected to the input okay and here we are taking the output and we are closing the loop okay this ammeter okay see the supply connection so it is entering into the ammeter and it's coming out of the ammeter and it is entering into the positive terminal of the rheostat and it's leaving at the negative terminal and it's trying to form an closed path and automatically current will flow okay now as per our analysis this battery bank is perfectly fully charged and they are able to supply how much voltage 12 in parallel 12 12 12 how much 
12 volts okay now let's try to do the loading all this ones okay so you see here now we connected and we are connecting the range of uh, 30 range okay how much it is showing 12.5 write down first reading serial number one 